One of the most popular and useful things to create in Illustrator are invitations. You can create wedding invitations, baby shower invitations, or even thank you cards. In this lesson, we'll be designing a birthday party invitation. Let's open a new document by going to the File menu and selecting New. We'll name our document Invitation and set the new document profile to Print. Then for size, select Letter. If you need to, also set the units to Inches. When finished, click OK. Let's start by creating our background. Let's use the Rectangle tool and change our shape color by going to the color panel and double clicking on the fill box. Change R to 142, G to 188, and B to 229. Click OK. Then click and drag to draw a rectangle at the top of the artboard to create a header. Repeat the same thing on the bottom of the artboard to create our footer. For the footer, let's change the color by double clicking on the fill box and setting R to 244, G to 152 and B to 192. When finished, click OK. Next, we want to create a new layer. Double click on the Layers panel in order to open it. Click on the Create New Layer button, then double click on the new layer's name to rename it. Let's rename it Background then click the OK button. Drag to reposition the background layer below layer 1. With the background layer selected and the rectangle tool still selected, create six vertical rectangles of various widths in between our header and footer. We'll be changing the colors on them later. I'm going to select all of my rectangles and shift them over to the left a little bit. To do that, let's use the selection tool, hold down the shift key, and click on each rectangle. Then use your mouse or scroll keys in order to move them. Select the first bar from the left. Then while holding down the control key, select the second to the last bar on the right. Double click on the fill box and change R to 149. G to 204 and B to 139. When finished, click OK. Click anywhere on the artboard to deselect our current selection. Then select the second bar from the left and change its RGB color to 143, 108, and 86. When finished, click OK. Select the third bar from the left and change its RGB to 244, 217, and 188. Then click OK. Select the last bar on the right and change its RGB to 143, 188, and 229. Click OK. 
click away from the current selection and select the rounded rectangle tool hidden behind the rectangle tool. In the control panel, change the fill color to white and set the stroke width to 14. Then in the color panel, change the stroke color to 236, 245, and 228. Click OK. Click and drag to draw a rounded rectangle in the center of our background. Next, we're going to locate and open data file flower.ai and add the image contained within to the invitation. Go to the File menu, select Open, locate data file flower.ai, then after selecting it, click Open. With the Selection tool, select the flower, go to the Edit menu, then copy it. Then back in our invitation document, Go to the Edit menu, then paste it. Let's take our flower and drag it to the lower left corner of our rounded rectangle. Let's also increase its size by holding down the Shift key and dragging the upper right corner outward. In the Layers panel, let's create a new layer and double click on the new layer's name to name it Text. Click OK, then select the Type tool to create the written content of our invitation. You can type whatever you'd like, but we'll start by typing, Come celebrate the birthday party for... And before we continue, let's use the Selection tool to select our new text and change its font and color. Select our text. Open the Character panel from the Control panel. Then for the font, select Pristina. Then set the font size to 30. Next, we're going to use the Eyedropper tool to sample a color from the invitation itself. In the Color panel, set the stroke to None. Reselect the Selection tool, then in the Control Panel, select Align. Select Align to the Artboard, then select the Vertical Center button. Let's use the Type tool to add more text to our invitation. We're going to type a pretend name, Flora Sacate. Then select our new text using the Selection tool to change its character settings. Let's set the font to 1. Baskerville Old Face. Then we'll set our font to 50. Let's use the eyedropper tool to sample a different color from our invitation for our new text. Don't forget to set the stroke to none. Open the Align panel and under Align to, select Align to Artboard, then select the Vertical Center button. Close the Align panel and reselect the Type tool. Next, let's type the pretend date of our event. We're going to type Monday, March 28, 2011. Then hit Enter and type 12 p.m. Hit Enter again and type Student Union. Then 5151 State University Drive. Hit Enter one more time, then type Los Angeles, California 90032. Now let's select the Selection tool. Select our text. Then open the Character panel in the Control panel. Then change the font size to 25. 
Drag the text to reposition it. Then select the eyedropper tool. Then sample a new color from the invitation. In the color panel, set the stroke to none. Reselect the type tool. And let's add RSVP information. We're going to type RSVP Bogo Bonanza at 323-343-3000. Use the selection tool once again to select the text, then open the character panel from the control panel, then change the font size to 20. Use the eyedropper tool to sample yet another color from our invitation, then set the stroke to none. We're going to add an effect to our rounded rectangle, so select the selection tool then select the rounded rectangle. Then in the Appearance panel, click on the Add New Effect button. Then under Stylize, select Drop Shadow. In the Drop Shadow dialog box, set the mode to Multiply. Then in the X Offset field, type 5 points. This will automatically convert it to 0 0.07 inches. Repeat the same thing for the white offset field and type 5 points. For the blur, type 10 points. Finally, click OK. Click anywhere on the artboard to preview our invitation.